everyone, it's Katie, and today I'm here to film my What's in My School Bag video, and this has been very highly requested, every year it is, and for some reason I keep on doing them, even though it really doesn't change year after year. Since I'm a senior now, I only have about roughly two to three classes a day, it kind of changes depending on what day it is. I usually come home around like 11 o'clock, maybe 12 on some days, it's great. Honestly, just having more time after school is golden, especially because I really, really love sleeping and the key window of time for me to sleep is like 12 that's like when I sleep the best so I love coming home and then sleeping and then going back to school for unified practice if you guys aren't familiar with what unified is it's basically a league of tennis bowling bocce where I am that unites both kids with special needs and disabilities with those who do not have special needs or disabilities like myself so I work with kids and we basically have a blast it's really great so I come back to school for that and then after that I go home and then sleep again. I'm barely ever at school so I don't really need that much stuff. I've been bringing the same school bag since last year. There was a period of time during like midterms last year that I used an actual backpack because my shoulder was killing me because as a junior, which I don't know about where you guys are from, but from the United States standpoint, East Coast standpoint, my school standpoint, junior year is hell it is the hardest year if you are taking rigorous classes like if you are like me and a lot of my friends and you overloaded yourself with APs and hard courses because you're literally terrified you won't get into college uh, then you will probably have the worst year of your life good luck I don't even know how to put it lightly junior year is the hardest year because it's the year when you're not quite a sophomore so you're not like a youngin anymore and you're not quite in college or close to being in college yet you're just smack dab in the middle and you don't know what to do with yourself. I got really sick because I overloaded myself with too much. It just crashed down on me like mid-year. I was literally driven to the point of being sick all the time because of my courses. So my advice for all of you lower classmen, be careful with what you give yourself junior year. Um, I definitely recommend taking a bunch of APs but not stressing about getting A's in all of them because colleges care that you even challenge yourself with harder classes. I don't know if I'm speaking for the whole world when I say this but just don't overload yourself with too much and you'll be fine. <laughs> so anyway, moving on from that tangent, I have some stuff in this bag and I'm going to show you it. My bag, which looks like this, is from Free People and I got this bag for about $68. To be honest, this is the highest quality tote bag I've ever owned in my life. This bag is just made so well. It's almost made from like a sack that they'd use like an industrial sack that's what it feels like so anyway love this bag and it's very functional it does hold a lot of stuff and although it is kind of hard on your one shoulder um, I don't really carry my bag very much if you're one who's like a walker or you need to carry a bag around a lot I don't recommend something like this I recommend something with two straps because it will wear down on your shoulder after time no matter how cute that little side bag is it'll bite you in the butt later on when you have 10 textbooks in your backpack so as a little disclaimer before I launch into this I am NOT an organized person alright as much as you guys might think that I'm organized or want me to be an organized person I'm not I'm just like looking around my room right now and I have stuff everywhere I'm not a very tidy person. I am what I want to be, like when I really put my mind into it, like I want to make this organized, I want to make this paper organized. I'm a very big perfectionist on certain elements of my life, but not very many. I'm not one of those gurus that's going to be like, oh, I have these six different pencil pouches with eight different colors of highlighters in each pouch. Like I'm not organized like that. I don't think mathematically or rationally. I think stuff plus bag equals school, go. That is my thought process. You might be way more organized than I am, and kudos to you, but I've been going through how many years of school now? Kindergarten, first grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, 10, 11, 12. Wow. This is my 13th year of school, so I've been through this a lot. I will tell you this. I only spent $5 on school supplies this year, which sounds a little bit crazy. That's why I didn't do like a school supplies haul, because honestly, I've reused stuff like no other. I've reused a binder, I've reused tabs or dividers, whatever those things are called. The only thing that I actually bought was a pack of pens because I love pens, and batteries for my calculator because I ran out of batteries. So first off in my bag, I have my one and only binder because since I only have like two actual thinking classes, 
I have a relatively small binder for them. These are my lovely papers. I have a Java textbook in here because I'm taking a computer programming class. So next to my Mary Poppins bag, I have a book that I've been reading, which is The City of Thieves by David Benioff. I'm reading it in my Honors 12 English class. To be honest, out of all the books that I've read in my lifetime, I like this one the least. I really did not enjoy reading this just because it's pretty vulgar. It's like from the point of view of like a teenage boy and so he's always talking about sex and I'm just like no thanks. I didn't really like it but if you're one who likes books from the guy's perspective talking about sex and war and shooting people then I recommend this book for you. Next I have a planner which is very important to me. This is my life. I always put everything in this or my phone but during class I feel like it's rude to take out my phone and put in stuff in my uh, what's it called calendar so I usually just whip out this. My special ed friend Sarah put a little sticker of Louie. I think that's Louie right? Louie from One Direction on there so I have him represented. This little notebook I actually got in a pop sugar box from last month I think. It's from maydesigns.com. They have all the days of the week on this side and it says things to do, errands to run, and oh can't forget. So that's basically all there is in here. This format of Plannering works best for me, so I love it. I have a water bottle, which is my Camelback in pink. I also have one in purple, but I alternate because I need to keep them washed and clean and stuff. So today's water bottle was the pink one, and I carry this with me everywhere because I never drink enough water, and it's very important to drink enough water. My favorite method of drinking my water is using a Camelback because this little, like, sucky thing up here is honestly so addicting to drink out of. Fellow Camelback users will agree with me. If you go from, like, a regular stupid water bottle to a Camelback, you'll never go back because honestly it's just so addicting. You will go through one of these in like a class and be like where did it go? I got mine for like 10 or 15 dollars from Target but I'm sure you can find them in different colors online as well. So next I have a calculator and this is my TI-84 silver edition. I've had this calculator since sixth grade and I actually had to get a new cover because my other cover was like gross and nasty just from all the wear and tear of six years. Love this calculator. It gets the job done but the cover never comes off. So next in here I have an umbrella just in case it starts raining and I don't anticipate it because it happens to me very often. To be honest I don't really think I need this but I have it anyway. Next I just have my wallet because obviously I need to pay for stuff which actually got stolen out of my car a couple weeks ago but luckily the person who took it was stupid and left it so I didn't have to end up getting a new ID, which was great. Like, I don't care about my credit card, honestly. Like, I mean, I care about it, but you can easily cancel that. But ID, like, that takes forever to get at the NBA. Like, you have to sit there for, like, hours. I love this wallet. I got it from Urban Outfitters. The best part about it is it's a checkbook wallet, so it has this little thing in the front that I put my phone in. My iPhone fits perfectly in there. So I keep my iPhone in there, and then the zip pouch... It's really messy, guys, but I have all of my cards and my money and everything in there. Next, I have all of my writing utensils, which are very miscellaneous. This is all that I have writing utensil-wise, and they're all just in the bottom of my bag. I also keep some mascara, my go-to L'Oreal Voluminous Hydrofuge Mascara, because I always forget to put on mascara in the morning, which is a very common habit for me, because I put on the eyeliner, and then I think, oh, my eyes are done, and I forget to put on the mascara. My eyelashes go straight out, so... It's kind of nice to have a little bit of, you know, lift in the morning, so I put this on in the car if I forget. So next I have a pair of headphones because I often tune out things in certain classes because there are annoying people and I like to get my classwork done on time. So my teachers usually just let me take out my headphones, plug them into my phone, listen to some good uh, Jack Johnson or John Mayer or like, soothing productive music and there you go. So keep my headphones with me. Last but certainly not least I have my car keys because I need them to drive places. And that is all I have in here. Oh wait, I have an EOS lip balm because my lips are always chapped. And I learned in Clueless that it's always important to draw attention to your lips when you're sitting near a guy. So I always make sure I whip this out at the appropriate times and voila. <laughs> so my friends, that is all that I keep in my huge endless bottomless pit of a school bag so thanks for watching hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a nice little thumbs up because i know you're capable of it so why not utilize it let me know what you think and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video bye